Testing, test, test. Hi, I'm Adi Banjo, and welcome back to Factorio. So, as you may know, I plan to continue my Deep Frontier expedition down this way. But before I can do that, I need to make sure I have the proper infrastructure to support my going that way. Um, for quite a while, I've been like working on uh, my base factory infrastructure, uh, getting getting old systems that have stopped working restarted and, and rerouting things like that and getting adequate resources just flowing into the base so the, one of the last things I need to do is get adequate power to make sure I don't have to worry about power outages and my solution is a massive nuclear power plant uh, specifically an eight reactor nuclear power plant which is pretty darn big. It will produce over a gigawatt or a gigajoule or gigawatt, gigajoule. It'll produce a lot of freaking power and that's what we need. Uh, so I've already loaded up my supplies here. Uh, I've looked up the, the ratios and uh, for for optimal ratios or at least approximations of them for an eight reactor nuclear power plant are 112 heat exchangers, which I have here, and 193 steam turbines. I don't know how many pipes I'll need. Um, I got my eight reactors here. Uh, I don't know how many pipes I will need. Uh, heat pipes. And I really don't know the specific configuration or design of, of this... Uh, of this power plant, but I have a rough idea. I have a rough idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like a cross. At least that's how I'm going to do the heat pipes, and then from there I may have to get kind of creative. I've heard you can have no more than 30 heat exchangers off of a single heat pipe. I hope I don't have to get that crazy. I don't think I will. I think that's in a, uh, probably in an extreme scenario. So all that's left to do really, aside from build it, is figure out where to build it. Now, the the thing is we will need uh, part of that optimal setup is also 10 water pumps. I think I have those. I opened up a logistics slot. Not Yeah, we got 20, so we got enough. Um, so where to build it? The thing is we we need water, and we don't necessarily have to be on the water because um, ever since the update, you can pipe water quite a distance. But I kind of still want to. And I don't want, I don't know how big this power plant needs to be, like, so I'm looking at vast open spaces. Like, while I would like it to be close to my main factory and also my uranium stuff going on over here, I don't know if this is adequate space. Um, because I'll want to build it in the middle of four roboports, which is what these little blue squares are, these big blue squares here. Um, like, I can move this line here, that's, that's, uh... That's like a plate line. I don't know if it's... I think it's... Okay, it's all iron from that deposit. Now I could move that, and I could put that in here somewhere. But I don't know. Like, the water would have to come down a ridiculous distance. Like, I'd pipe... This here is a water pipe. That's how, how far I had to bring it down to get that one going. And it works... My other notion was put it up here, so like if I have to get real weird and crazy with the build, like it's just out here, I don't have to build on top of other resources really. And it's just kind of out of the way. Like like as, co as cool as it would be to have it like closer to home, it, it really the only benefit is just that it would be more protected I guess. Um, as cool as that would be, like it would really block a lot of infrastructure that I might want closer to home. And, uh, because, like, it's the same story with these power plants here and also over there. Like, they don't really need to be there. 
and I would really like other infrastructure there, so maybe I'll just put it somewhere out of the way, like on this peninsula, which was, it used to be its own little peninsula out there, but I connected it with the landfill there to that, just so, I, I don't know, make it easier to walk across so I wouldn't have to go around here every time. So let's do that. Let's do it right there. It's a long walk out there. I don't even want to build a, a train to manual or and manually drive it because it like when I when I try driving on my automated uh, train tracks with the manual train last time I did that I crashed like another an automatic train crashed into me and it took like some doing to get that worked out <laughs> get that resolved I actually didn't die. They, the the card didn't uh, the collision didn't destroy them. They both got repaired. They were almost completely killed, but they survived. The hell am I? Okay, so okay. I just do that when I see that when I see tracks on on my screen and I can't see a rail signal. Uh, I just put those there because even though your trains don't really need that many signals like you as the player need need to know when trains are coming and trees let's face it we're not going to use those for anything they'll just be in our way someday oh wait I think I might have gone too far this is the water pipe no this isn't too far yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, okay, we're getting closer. There we are. I see it on the map. Ah, uh, so I almost forgot. First thing I need to do is logisticize this whole area so we can build freely and and you know use construction robots and set up uh, logistics chests and stuff. And I don't know where I'll need to build my robo ports, so anytime I see trees, I kind of just blow them up. I know that's terrible, but it's it's not real life. And if it was real life, I might even do the same thing if this was the same task we had. But but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so I'm gonna probably bring the robo port line up through here because robo ports are kind of a priority in terms of what takes up space. Like they have to go first. So, cause, because I want to place them for optimal distance and keep that distance optimal such as I've done here. Like this here, or, or this way over here, this, this RoboPort way over here, is actually aligned on a grid with this one way over here. Like it will, it will line up if I build this whole grid over. And so that's why those are prioritized, so I can keep that alignment and know just kind of how things will line up. So I should have plenty of RoboPorts. Hopefully I won't need need so many more that I'll have to keep getting replenished. Um, okay, so I'll build off of this one. I'm going for max distance. Optimal distance. Then we'll have to go back and power these. Because right now, I don't think when they're not powered, I don't I don't think my robots will come to me. Holy crap, this is a long way up. I'm going to go back and connect the power now, even though I'm not finished building up there, just so I don't have to do it later. And if I'm lucky, the power lines will line up on the left side or the right side and not go straight through the, the RoboPort, because I also keep my power lines on a grid. It, it's more lax, like it's not totally consistent, but I don't know if it's OCD or what, but it's just something I do. So it's probably going to have to be this one on the right. Uh, 
Oh, shit. Bumped me, of course. There we go. So that, that worked out perfect. I, I like it when they flow on the side, because when they, when they go right through the middle, it messes up my whole little auto-placement scheme. My, my optimal distance auto-placement scheme. Alright, so we're powered up to here. And... I'm all full on Roboports again, good. Uh-oh, more trees. These cluster grenades are amazing for clearing trees. They're like, you should like get some as soon as you're able to. Just start making cluster grenades. They're amazing. They're great for clearing alien uh, alien nests. They're great for clearing trees. They're great for making toast. Everyone should have cluster grenades. Lots and lots of them. Chests full. Logisticized chests full. Yeah, so I don't know where I'll be working here yet, so I'm just kind of taking the opportunity to get rid of those. Also, the stumps. Um, so let's go... This way. Oh, dear. Yeah, I gotta make sure that's straight, because I'll mess up my whole thing. My whole lifetime of planning. That is straight, right? Yep. Um. Okay. Amazing. Sorry, nature. Sorry. Nuclear power. It's the, it's the way of the future. Okay, power. We need power. What? Are you treeing on my ground? I don't think so. Well, we're... Oh, am I down here? That's where I stopped. Okay. Logistics, infrastructure, it takes so long to set up. Feel free to skip to a later part in this video. Though I'm sure if you're so inclined, <laughs> you probably would have done that a long time ago. In, in which case, never mind. But if you're not, if you took the time to hang out with me and watch me build all this stuff, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh no, did I... Okay, I still have a... I just have to wait for them. Rather than wait for them to fly all the way out when I'm like in the way-ass boonies of my base, I... I walk back. Like, even though they'll still bring it to me, they'll find me out here. Oh, they're there. Yeah, that's my poles. It just, you know... Oh no. It gives me something to do while I'm waiting. It makes me feel like I'm actually actively doing something. 
Okay, that's enough to keep going. like this here unfortunately I don't like that lineup because it'll run into run into the power plant okay so we did that one same with this one So, which one to build it in is what I'm not sure of. I'm just giving myself options here, and I'm seeing how these line up. So, oh god, what am I? <laughs> I'm seeing how these line up. Because, like, I, I want to build the grid first. And then I want to see what would be, like, the best center of the open space to try and do this. I know you're like rolling your eyes right now. You're like, come on, you can tell that it's straight. I'm like, I know, kind of. Like, I know you think you can. I know that sometimes I think I can tell that it's straight. And then it turns out it was a little bit to the left, actually. And and now my whole thing is not aligned. My whole grid is imperfect. Okay, so one more. One more over here. And I'll power it from up here. All right. I think that warrants a save game. So that 202 hours so far. Holy crap. That's a lot of hours. So maybe cuz I want it to, I want to start it in the middle of four robo ports because I'm going to do a cross heat pipe configuration. And then I can I might you know, have to build around these these robo ports anyway. But you know, initially, I I want to not run into them. So I like that spot. Do I like this spot? I might like this spot. This seems the most spacious. Okay. And I kind of want this to be symmetrical, so... One, two, three, four. I'm going to need to count this, sorry. Or actually, wait. i got a plan. Yeah, so that's 100. Okay, so starting at 100. fifty four so that's forty six forty six across twenty three to the middle okay let me get a stack of a hundred let me see if I can do this so that'd be 77 this will say 77 
Sorry, trying to work this out. This is like crude measuring here. So this will say 77. Okay, so the upper right corner here is the exact middle. So let's place our first reactor. Just want to see where it's at. Okay. So, so it's going to be eight reactors total. That's the first four, and the next four go over here. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Where's my deconstruction planner? That's what we have it for. For annoying, crazy, big things that need to move. <clears throat> okay, so those... Right there should be the exact middle of my robo ports. Cool. Heat pipes. Now here's where I don't know the best way to do this. First, let's... I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. I really don't. That Connecting them like this, like having two rows. I know if pipes are too long, it's a bad idea. Like, I don't know if, if this helps them or actually drains them faster. Like, I don't know if this helps them retain heat from adjacency bonuses, or if this actually keeps them from, uh... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. That, I don't know if it helps or hurts. Alright, so let's try to... Let's try to place our first heat exchanger here. Also, I haven't thought about how I'm going to get pipes in here. Uh, steam pipes. Maybe I should figure out the top first. That way I can figure out the water. See, this is why people usually just show pictures of their finished <laughs> their finished complicated thing because these these take some thought. But I do know the reason I I br only brought exactly what I need is because I want to um uh, I want to know when I've used the exact, like, the optimal amount of something. Did I place these a tile away? I did, right? Yes. But did I need to? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to do it again.
Okay, now from here, do I do I want a steam turbine past here, or do I want more of these? Because we're not going through a whole lot of these real fast. I just need these for the robo ports. I don't we're not gonna need it for the power plant. Is that connected or not? It is. Oh shit, I broke it. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do these on all four sides and then I'm going to see where we're at in terms of numbers cuz that's what's going to dictate like kind of when I stop building and how like how much I build. And I don't know if I'm going to do something like that. I'm leaving that there just to kind of, you know, think about it. Okay. So, do we keep building out or do we figure out a way to double up or something? Yeah, we might have to because... So these will probably double up somehow. Alright, so I think... One sec, I'm going to take a quick break. I think I need a lot more space in between these. Like, I wanted to keep it all compact to keep it, I don't know, to make it look like all part of one machine type of thing. But I think I need, like, four... I think I need that much space. Because I'm going to have, um, I'm going to need inserters both in and out as well as logistics chests. I mean, don't they don't have to be logistics chests. I could probably convey it, but I don't know. I might want to do that for design purposes, but for now, I just want to make sure that we can actually build it. That we have the room to build it. And I think I'm going to put another row of these. Because I can't just build out in a straight cross. Like, these are going to have to double up somehow. Let me just make sure I can pipe. Yeah, I can pipe that. Okay.
Now, can I walk over these? Yeah, I can walk over these. That's a bonus. I might need more heat pipes. Where should I bring that from? Over here? Sure. Okay, looking looking okay so far. No deal breakers yet. And I think this four spaces is gonna pay off later. So there's my two inserters at least. Oh, and I could do something on that side too. connect it like that? Is that how... Why does that have this... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I, yeah. You saw that, didn't you? You saw what I did, and you were like, you were like, face palm. Okay, we're actually getting rid of some heat exchangers here. I think we're gonna be able to do this. Because all I have to do is use up all, all my heat exchangers and then it'll be done. How did I do that? Okay, it's looking cool. It's looking really cool. Okay, we got 32 heat exchangers left. Let's put a row on this side and see where we're at. might have to do fewer. I think I'm going to use them all up. Yeah, I'm going to use them all up. I'm going to I'm going to just take one at a time away from them, keeping with that design until I just get closer and closer to using them all. Okay, so we have... You know what? I'm going to do one more than the optimal ratio. Just I know this is going to mess up the whole thing. Shit, I don't, I can't just build those, can I? Or can I? Hey, that built pretty fast, actually. Okay, so this was 194 heat exchangers inst instead of 93. Oh, fuck. I didn't need to do that. I had an, I had one there. So it's still 193. Yeah, 193. Okay. Um, okay, so that's all of our heat exchangers. We didn't. We we're still at an optimal ratio. Okay. Uh, now for 
Hmm, let's do some pipes. Let's see how how our pipes look. So this is steam. That's gonna be steam. Might as well be a hundred. I think a tile can hold at least a hundred. Come on, logistics bots, get up here. I know it's ass far away. Oh my god, we're way up here. Wow, that looks all cool and symmetrical. Okay, so we can start, while we're waiting on our pipes, we can start thinking about how we're going to turbine this. What does a turbine look like, even? How does that... Okay, so so it takes steam in and out, and then it's a power source, so it needs to have some kind of connection to the grid. Uh, if I if I did one there, one there, that's still a space between. What do you think? Does that look stupid? Is that okay? Hmm. Let's do more steam pipes. Oh, that's not going to do. Hmm. Hmm. This was this was all coming together. Now I'm confused again. I have to figure out this next part. Also, this water needs. I gotta figure out how this is all going to link up. Okay, so that's gonna have to be a solid pipe connection. I try to always try to use underground pipes because they, they, they not only are they easier to walk around, but they use uh, um, they interfere with other other fluids and gases less. Oh my gosh, this gonna be a long video. Okay, uh, we've got. That's water. And will these connect to each other? I don't know. I just don't know. This is getting complicated. Um,
sure, just make a quick video to design an 8 reactor nuclear power plant. No problem. No problem. Um, what did we do here? How did we do that? Like this? Okay, I thought, thought I might have been missing some stuff. Ah, it's not connected. Okay. Did we get it all on the ends? We didn't connect this up. Alright, so, <clears throat> so I don't know where we're going to put the water in exactly or how we're going to do that, but, oh, you know what, that's water, wait, no, that's steam, so we got a link, do we want this to be solid pipes is the question. Because this can be underground. That's any any two connections you can put that underground and have yourself a little space there. Can't have a space there though. So I can walk on the heat pipes, but that's about it. Well, shit. All right. Indeed. I don't know which way is the most pleasing to make this look, because, I mean, we could just freaking just clump it all in there, right? At least I think we could. But I don't know if that's really what I want to accomplish here. So what's the biggest chain we can have here? Okay, so it, it's, I think we can still keep it, I mean, of course we can still keep it symmetrical, but it's, they're not going to be like, like there's going to be, they're converging here, so we can't just have it all, like, equal number of things coming off of each thing. We can't do it that way. Trying to make us more room here. All right, steam turbine. So I'm, I'm going with this for a second, and I'm gonna see how this works out. And then we'll figure out what to do with these other. You know, how to go 
how to utilize these top and bottom ones. Okay, so that's... We have a lot more to go through. I don't think I want to put any off of these in... Well, maybe I do. No. Because that, that'll look real sloppy. I don't know if I like that. Eh. Nah, that just looks real willy-nilly. I don't like that. In that case, let's build this out one. I don't think I needed to do it that far, but let me see. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, so the, the those ones are utilized pretty well. We can expand on it here in a second if we need more. And then we can start another row, and then we can have all of our uh, steam turbines facing the same direction. That would be cool. That's not going to do. Do we want to build out one? No, let's not connect to those. Yet. So I don't know what the final design of this is going to look like, but I feel like it's going to be pretty cool. So how many could we fit here, hypothetically? Just a four. And then we could have a longer, we could make the row longer. Wait, that's water. We can't connect to that. Interesting. So if we did that, we'd, we're blocked. We can't get in that way now. <sighs> and we need to leave our water connection open, of course. One second, I'm going to think about this. Okay, so I think first we need to figure out how our steam pipes connect up. So let me do that first. Okay, so once once we see that, then we can then we can know how this is gonna go together or not. That was okay. So just two straights. Cool. No. That looks different. Oh, that's because of this. Mm. 
There we go, that looks the same now. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, now we need to see this one, what this looks like. It's getting confusing. The symmetry is so mind-boggling right now. Um, straight pipe, please. All right. So now we see where our steam is at. No, we're not. Still working on it, not quite there yet. Oh, you're not done, are you? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, <clears throat> I couldn't figure it out because I couldn't see where my steam was, like I couldn't envision where my steam was at. I kept getting it confused with where the, where the water pipe is and that was not helping. Okay, steam, steam, steam. I think we just got one more to connect up. There's that. Wait, is that? Yes, there we go. Thank you, autosave, for making sure that if I screw up royally, I can always go back to the fallback point. Okay, now that we know where our steam is, what shall we do about it? Because if I move that... Let me, let me try to move this up, up t uh, like two and see where we're at after that. Oh wait, I need to move this over. fit four. Ooh, we can even walk through it. That's a bonus. So once once we find a good uh, way that this works, then we can um, repeat it on the other sections. Yeah, and I can run pipes through there. Maybe I, Maybe I'll do that now. Maybe I just will. Ooh, do I want to... I might want to link this up, too. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that on the other ones as well. Yes, it works. It works. Three, four... I can probably do more across here. See, we still got a little space to kind of, you know. And if we fill this up too much, we can always just unbuild a couple. Okay, I like I like that. Do you like that? I think it looks cool. Okay. So how did how does this work? This goes here, that goes there. We go out and we build six of these. Up here well we build four down here. Let's build the four down here first.
and then we connect those up with this. Did I? Okay, right. I forgot. I, I forgot we had to fix that. There we go. Okay. Keeping the symmetry is is <laughs> freaking me out. Okay, that's steam. That's all steam. Okay, why does this look different than that? Does it? Yes, it does because this We have one more. You know, I don't know if we can blueprint this because it's each one is like uniquely inverted. I don't think a blueprint will work on this. Otherwise, I'd be blueprinting it. At least I think it would. All right. That looks that looks very pleasing. I like that. All right. Um time for a save, please. Whoa, Nelly. Okay. So four go across here. This gets fixed to this. Let's lay our four out just so we can see it. And then what? Why is that pipe way out? Did I build that too far out? Is that what I did? Yeah, I did. Alrighty. So then this goes to that. No, that goes here. This is the last connection like that. No, 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 no. That's not right. This goes to here. And then this all becomes this stuff. We're doing it, but we have a whole lot of steam turbines to get through. I think it's just the interior here. This this innermost part is the hardest to figure out. Once we get this going, I think it'll be easier for us to build larger numbers. It's just figuring out the, you know what I mean? This stuff. Okay, did I not connect those? Those need to be, yeah, those need to be like that. All right. This goes one out. This goes over to here. This goes like... Oh, no. I thought I had found the center, but I did not. I... Oh, no. I thought I built this in the exact middle, but... Well, maybe I did. It's just one tile off. Maybe that's just how the exact middle works out to be one one tile off on this side because because we had to pick one of one of the four sides from the middle. You know what I mean? Like there there wasn't like a center tile and then an even number on either side of the tile. There was just uh, the middle was just a like a one dimensional line. Uh, okay, well. Wait, but it worked on this side, right? Why did it work on this side? It just worked out that way. 
luckily. Because on here, that one is... Yeah, I, I don't think I found the exact middle. I think I kind of messed this up. I think this was botched. I think my measuring was a little off. I'm not going to rebuild this. <laughs> but, like, we can make this work. It's, it's just, damn it. Okay. So let's try it from this way. Oh wait, no. I only built four here. And I'm, I'm not, let's just, let's never speak of this again. Let's just move on. Let's just move on from what I've done and said and what has happened. Okay, so this. And then this goes away, right? Yes. And then that turns into this. All right. We're still doing good. We're still doing all right. I thought I thought we had not. <laughs> I thought things were not, but they're going okay. All right, so everything's symmetrical. Everything's working out. The robo ports worked out. Somehow we did not count to the middle, but because because these, though that is different. That is, I don't, I don't know where we messed up. There's a mess up in there somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. I think it's just because we didn't start in the middle, like I thought we did. I should have double checked my measurements. Always double check your measurements. All right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have a hundred and thirteen of those left. I think we can do it. Actually, I think this is going to be a cakewalk now that we got out of the middle there. Actually, we need to figure out this, because this top will be easy. We can just do a row across there. But here, how do we do here? I want all my steam turbines facing the same way, I think. I think I like that, that aesthetic. That looks very nice. Can I walk through this? No. Should I, should I let us be able to walk through that, or should that, is that going to be okay? Maybe that'll be okay. I think we'll just make it two way symmetrical. Maybe not, maybe not four way. Cause if if it was four way, then I'd have to have these facing. I mean, we can do that. Actually, maybe I would like that better. Would I? Would you? What do you think? No, because it can't be. Because in the because I can't redo this how this is done. You know, what I mean, I can't turn the whole thing around. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I knew this would be a big ass project. I somehow thought I could do it in a reasonably timed video. I, f I, f I have a feeling, though, this might be too frustrating to watch. <laughs> too frustrating and long. Uh, 
Hold on, I need to, I need another think about it break. I need to, you know what I mean? I'll see you in a second. Okay, back. So, I think the rest of this will be easy. I, it, I think that was the last hard thing we had to figure out, and, and the rest of this should be easy. I think we should keep everything facing the same way. I think that would look best, because it, it looks kind of uh, when it's, when there, uh, the steam turbines are different directions. I kind of, I like the two-directional symmetry more than I think I would four-directional. Okay, so to do that, we just have to eliminate these underground pipes here. We don't have to eliminate them. We could, we could do it like that and make it look cooler. Be a little more work, but, oh wait, we do have to do that side, though. You know what? I can work on aesthetics here later. Let's just get this doing. So let's use straight pipe. Boom. And we'll just do that like that. And before I add to this, I'm going to do all like this because it's getting harder and harder to keep track of the symmetry. <laughs> so that's the innermost one. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the other three like this before we move on to more complicated things. Yes. And then this row too. And then this one we're going to do like this. We're just going to have two there. I don't know if we'll put a couple in here. I don't I don't We can probably move our water under there. In fact, I'm certain we can, but we have to make a decision cuz it it can't be right in the middle. Hmm. So I don't know if we'll do that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't do the. I didn't connect these up, and I didn't connect those up. Nothing's connected. Okay, now we're gonna go this side. It's coming together. It's coming together. out first we're doing it we're so doing it did I connect the bottom no I didn't let's not do that yet I know we will probably do it anyway like I have other redundant connections to make just to help with like circulation and distribution but for now I just want to keep it simple until we get this all all figured out like I just want the <clears throat> like I just want the main the main uh, buildings figured out and then we can figure out our redundant connect connections and like good good steam circulation and all that So just so we know, how does this, how many is that? Four more? So I can just build, build these up real quick. And then, and then you guys. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Problem. Wait. No, there's a... Wait. I got confused. It's okay, everybody. I got confused. The world is not over. I got confused about this. 
this needs to get fixed. Okay, now it really needs to get fixed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have, I have little freakouts every now and then about about things that are really not a problem. But I thought they were a problem. Okay, that looks... Good. Does it look good to you? Whoa. I like it. Okay, how many more of these do we have? One, two, three, five, six, seventy-three. Hmm. All right. I say we just turn this into a block. Why not? Let's do it up. Ah, oh, shit. That probably knocked out power to my robo port. Do this on this side? Can I do this on this side? Ooh, I can't do it on that side. Alright, so I'll just have to be mindful of that. So, how would I do this? Three? No, that's. I need a space there, right? Oh my gosh, this is exciting. We're getting we're getting so close. We're getting so close to figuring this out. Okay, that's not how you figure it out. That's how you do it. Boom. So steamy. Well then Um, I messed this up, didn't I? Like, I'm actually, <clears throat> I'm actually hoping that I just got the the measurement for the middle wrong. I'm hoping I didn't actually do something asymmetrical in here, because at this point, I don't know if we can fix that. Okay. Should we just leave those open like that? I mean, for now, I'm. We're, that's not what I meant. I meant like, should we? I don't think we. I don't know if we should try to bridge that somehow. I mean, with pipes, yes, but I mean, with. I don't know if we should do that with. Steam turbines. Wow, I think we can just block it up from here on out, almost. This is looking really nice, really swell. Um, hmm. Will you connect if I delete this? No. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, one more like that. Dang power lines. Uh, 
Oh no. Forgot about my robo port. We're running out of steam turbines. I like it. Oops, that's not how we do. We need a pipe in there. Holy crap. Oh, I forgot something. Yes. Oh my god, yes, this warrants a save. Let's save this. This was one of the, the aspects of Factorio that I kind of that I kind of worried about. I was like, um, you know, projects in Factorio, just like little, little areas of, like little projects are kind of, can be several hour things. And I was like, that should, do you really want to attempt to make Factorio videos with considering that? And then I was like, well, I could cut out most of the thing, but then I'm like, but I don't know, maybe some people want to know how it's done. Like, know how how this stuff is connected explicitly, rather than just be like, and fast forward, and now you have a souffle. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, forty-nine... Where do we want to put them? It It's almost pretty square. I think top and bottom are a little bit shorter than the sides. So maybe we should do it on the, the tops and bottoms. Maybe we should, and maybe this should be connected now. Like, like why isn't it? I don't know, we can... I don't think we have to modify it, actually. I think we can just throw one in there. Yeah. Because we're not blocking this water, because that the water connection can happen here. And here. Okay. Yeah, we'll start with that. Now we're just, we're gonna fill in the blanks until we got a winner. Oh, I think I just wanted this pathway through is the only reason I do, didn't do that. But I don't I don't think we need it. I think it'll be fine. Because, I mean, you know, we can still do this. Cool. Alright, so I think a row at the top and a row at the bottom. Do these not transmit power on their own? Oh, I thought they conducted power. Huh. That's a problem. We're going to have to figure out how to power this, too. <clears throat> that's, I mean, that's not too big of a problem. I mean, we can always just refine the design if we need to. But wait, why is this thing still powered? What? How? I don't understand how it's... How is that RoboPort getting power? Does it just not know it's out of power? Oh my god, that scared me. That's <laughs> deep in concentration. <laughs> like seriously, that RoboPort should seriously be complaining right now. Whatever. Let's just, let's move on. I don't know if... Let's just add to what we got and see what that leaves us with. Oh, wait, we don't need to... We don't need a space here. We can, we can just transfer... I don't want to, normally I'd use a deconstruction planner here, but I, I don't want to do that because I have a specific amount of materials that is helping me 
know when I'm done. And if I get those mixed up with my logistics support, then okay. So we're not we're not. I don't know. We might do that. We'll just see. Let's just leave it how it is and see how many we have left to place actually, and then we can go from there. Yeah, we're like almost done. Does that? Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to move these power lines. How are those robo ports getting power? I don't understand it. Like, do they actually? Maybe they do conduct electricity. Maybe. I'm confused. Maybe they're just saying that they're not connected to a. I don't know. I don't know. Because those robo ports are not giving an, a, a power error. Okay, um, what, do, what am I doing? <laughs> what, what's going on? Are we playing Factorio right now? I think I need sleep. And instead I've decided to just build power things. Wait, where did it go? Shit, oh, there it is. Okay, so we have eight to place. Oh, come on, man. Why you no know place? Okay, that one knows it's out of power. There, it's covered. Good. Okay, what ha Okay. Seven to go. Five to go. Okay, so now we just have basically an aesthetic decision of where we're going to put those those remaining five. I know where we can put four. We can do it right here. Let me just make sure we can do the same on the other side. Because my symmetry is a little off somehow. Ooh, I don't know if we can. We can do... We can't. We can do it on the outside. One. I think that's what I was going to look at anyway. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the point of what I'm doing or why. All right, we're almost there. <clears throat> Holy crap, we're almost there. Oh, but in this case, we do need to connect this. We do need this. Then we can go back and figure out where we're gonna put that last one it's gonna make everything it's gonna throw off everything but then everything was already kind of thrown off due to my my symmetry ineptitudes shit why am I not robo porting Are they just taking a while? Alright, I think we can still figure stuff out anyway. Yeah, I can put it... I can just add it to there. I think that's where it would look best. Is that my pipe? Yeah, you got me some pipe. Thank you.
Well, special friend, this looks done practically. I mean, let's 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 check out our connections and stuff. Oh wait a minute, we we didn't have water. We didn't. We never. I mean, like the design is done. You know, the the design. I don't mean we're like wrap it up and call it a gift. Okay, what happened here? This needs to go to here. This needs to go to here. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, we still got to pipe our water over here. I don't know if I want symmetrical entrances. I don't know if we'll need that, but... Okay, so I, I need... I mean, this is all. C Do I wonder, does steam only flow one way through these? No, it can go in and out. That's what that's what the arrows say. The arrows say in and out, so that's fine. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. So, um, so let's make some redundant connections here. I want to connect this side to this side. To this side, to this side, to this side, to this. Okay. Still connects. Great. Like it. And just to make this look cool, I'll do both of these like that. Yeah. All right, and this side to this side. So we're sharing lots of steam. I I need to do this for the interior as well. There's a couple places I think where where that needs it. So we're sharing steam. Sharing is caring. And uh, now I don't want to do that to that. I would I would have liked to connect water pipes across here, but I don't think that's I don't think that's gonna do. Cause no, cause the I I would need straight pipe to get around here, and I can't touch the steam to the water pipe. That would be bad. Unless I can do something like this. It would take a lot of work. It would take a lot of work. I'm just I'm just gonna see. Cause then I'd have to do that. And then I, no, 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 I need to do more than that. I need to do this to this to this. Yeah, and that would take up... I mean... I mean, you know... And a lot of this is so inverted, it's... I don't think a blueprint would make it easier. Oh, I can't do that. Really? Why not? What's your problem? I don't think a blueprint would make that easier. Cause it's all it's all inverted. Oh that's fine, I only gotta do it four times. Shit. Let's you know let's do it. Right? Yes. What are you? Why are you like this? Where did my life go wrong? Ok, 
because you're like this, right? Right? <laughs> Oh, did it. Yeah, it is it is very hard on the brain to look at that and try to make it symmetrical with <laughs> with the the inverted one. You're two away, right? All right, yeah, I mean one away. Aha! Aha! Did it. Next to you, next to you, one away. Yeah, and you're just like that, and then you go. You go to here. And you go to here. You go to here, then you go to here. That's not rotate. Ooh, I didn't link this up, damn it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought that other one was finished a little too easily. Okay, we got redundant water connection there. I took some squiggly. I took some squiggly work. Oh, man. Good job. Oh no, I didn't think about this. I thought that we only had to do four, but no, we don't. We got to do eight. Oh. <laughs> Help me. Okay, wait, I think I can blueprint this now. I think a blueprint will work. Let's try it. Yes, let's see. Which way are you? Are you this way? No, you're this way. Oh, fuck, but the there's a slight variation in the... the in the... The heat pipes. They, they bump out... Uh... <laughs> Okay, wait. No, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just we'll just eliminate that pipe and then blueprint it. Okay, so where is that pipe? It's the one that goes to the outside. Okay. Okay. All is not lost. All is not lost. We'll delete you for just a second and you for just a second. Let me, where the hell's that? Delete that. Yes. Yet. So I said, as I was saying, yes. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. We've done it. 
Can I use that same blueprint? I don't know. It the other side might be inverted. Let me let me see. I I'm not good at geometry and math and stuff. <laughs> actually actually I kind of am sort of, but I I you know what? Moving on. Okay. Will it be inverted? I do not know. I don't know. If it is, it works. Oh, so... But the problem with this is... That connection, I can't bring it back. So there's no point to that. These two can connect, but this one... Has to, maybe I can do it differently. Can I do that differently? I know I can. It's just it's gonna take redoing it. Son of a bitch. You know what? Um, fast forward for you, and I'm going to do this. So, fast forward for you. Good job. Lucky you. Okay, so what I decided was that um, instead I would just link these, f these four to these four and do that the other way around. Because it could be done, but the problem was is I also wanted to connect Steam, and I also need room to have inserters... I'm, it's probably going to have to be long-handed in, in some cases, uh, inserters to insert and also remove uh, fuel cells. So, uh, next stage is I need to connect, make an inside connection for my steam. It's really dangerous to put t pipes next to each other, particularly straight pipes. However, if you put straight pipes next to an incompatible curved pipe, it will not connect, which is good news for us which means we can weave it in with this stuff so that one that's going to connect up to there but but this is the connection that was going to be really tricky it was going to be this one to this one look at that shit <laughs> oh wait don't need to do that um don't need to do that Wait a minute, yes I do. That's, no, oh, um, oh dear, no, I can't do that. I, can, I thought I could do that, but I can't do that. Ah, uh, that was going to be cool, because I would need this. I would need that right there. And I can't do that. Dang it. I really wanted an interior steam connection. I, at least between those two, I can do it here. Um, I can do this one to this one. See, again, putting straight pipes next to other pipes, especially of different types, is, like, bad. But in this case, it works. We can do it. Okay, let's make that same connection here. And then here. I got a lot of practice with pipes. <laughs> oh, crap, which way... Which way did I do it down here? I'm trying to keep it symmetrical. Okay, so the the one that's like this extends out. Okay. Now if I turn this on and I've mixed up all my pipes, which is a distinct possibility, I'm going to be horribly upset. See, I would do that on the outside too, but I don't think that the steam turbines need it. I think they just, they pass the steam, but... Oh, well, I kind of did do it on the outside there. Oh, but that that did. Uh oh, man, my poor camera. Be right back.
Okay, I think I've got... I've... Like, I have to make some interior steam connections, and I think I've, I've figured out how. But first, I have to figure out my inserters before I do any more pipe work in here, because it's getting too confusing. Like, I have to, I have to know where my inserters are going to be, so... Um, so I'm going to have to use long arm inserters. Why do you not have a squiggly? I didn't rebuild your squiggly, whoops. Alright, I didn't take this one away. I'm like, that, yeah. Okay, so, this one actually doesn't have to have long arm inserters. This one will. Let's do uh, fast inserters on this. Whoops, I, for I forgot. I forgot. So this is going to be our used fuel cell. I still got four more of these to do with long arm inserters, but let's do this one. <clears throat> let's do this one first. Or these four first. Okay, now we go to our long arm inserters. This can be so badass. Like, it's already badass. Let me do the symmetry. Getting closer. Sorry. I, yeah, I, I just now realized what I did. Okay. <laughs> it's still going to be badass. Actually, maybe I want to do it like that. No, no, I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, okay. Maybe I don't want to do it like that. It has to be this way. Okay. So you go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Those long arm inserters are kind of weird because you have to put the thing they're taking from a space away as well. Um, okay, I think this will work. I'm pretty sure it will work. Um, I want to do power last. Like I, I fig like I figure there's all these little tiny crevices in here where we can stick power if we need, to, if we need to. Shit. Ah, oh, that can I now I can't do this thing. Yeah, this is why I had to figure this out first. Cause okay, so I can do this. I can do steam here. I can do these connections. And then, whoops, I should have done these first. <clears throat> Why not? Okay, so, 
Jeez. So we can do that. We can do that Steam connection. I just wish I could get across here. I, I might be able to. I'll have to see if I can figure it out. I'm like I'm like a a pipe escape artist. <laughs> All right. Um, where'd you go? You go here. Oops, I forgot again. You need to go here and here. Boom. Okay, that's connected like that. I just wish I had access to this steam here. I'm gonna have to see. You know what? It's auto saving, but I need to save uh, my real save also. Okay. Can we do this? Can we figure out a way to get this these steams? Cause that ah. Uh. I don't think we can. Like something's gonna have to go. I don't I just don't shit. <laughs> There's one more way to get in here, actually. But then... These heat pipes, they've got, like, no over-under option. Because the... We could delete some, but... Only one side. And that wouldn't give us the other side. Hmm. You know, I mean, practically speaking, like, this steam is all hooked up. It's just, I really, really wanted an interior connection for these. Like, we've got this side steam connected, this side steam connected. Shit. Is there a way? Do you know a way? I'm not seeing it. I think I'm, I think, I think this is the point of no return. Wait, could I do something like, no, nah, I don't think I can. You know what I mean? Like, put one of these in here or something? Yeah, I think this is the conflict I, I might have seen, but I needed to build this shit to be sure. I was like, nah. Uh, uh. Crap. I think that's just gonna have to be like that. I got no way in. These pipes are not flexible. Well, shit. You know what? Good enough. Damn it, good enough. If I get ideas later on, I'll come back to this and rework this, but... I think we've done good. I think we've done well. All this is all connected. And these are connected th through themselves.
Let's figure out our, our water supply. All right. Let's just do this as far away as possible. Or uh, maybe almost as far away as possible, how many? What would be as far away as possible? This? No, that's that's far away as possible. That's fine. Cool. Man, it's like way past my bedtime. I somehow thought I could get this done in like two hours. It's turning into who knows. I don't know how long this video is, but but like in terms of how long I've, I've actually been at this, you know, like on and off camera. Holy crap. How far away does that need to be? Measuring time. This is a pretty nice power plant, though. I'm, I mean, I'm pleased. I'm <laughs> just, just like, holy shit. How long has this been? Okay, so that's two full spaces away. Really pleased with this. This looks pretty cool. So two full spaces and then one. Okay, now we do the other side. Whoops, trapped. Cool. Um, so I'm going to make a little ring. steam Sorry, I'm a super concentration mode. <laughs> like no talking. I just re just realized I forgot about you. I'm sorry. One, two, three. Okay. Now we just need to link that up. Let me just look at that side. Is that that was one, two? Oh shit! That's Three? I did that three away, why? I thought... Oh, this was two away. One, two... Okay, it, it's, it is, okay. 
Wait a minute. Does that mean... Does that mean I messed this up? One, two... No, it's all fine. It's all fine. Cool. Oh my gosh. I think we've done it. Like, we still need to power this baby, but... I mean... Oh, man. Looking at the clock. Okay. I don't want to disrupt that iron deposit. I want to mine, mine every last ounce. isn't it? I think so. If there's four. We need ten. We need ten. Is my face off camera? It was, it was probably off camera. I didn't see. <laughs> All right. Um. A little farther on this one. I don't know if I want to bring it from a third direction. I might just add more pumps to these two connections. I think this is probably adequate. Okay, so that's not going to do. You know what? This is why I bring landfill with me everywhere I go. Because if something's, you know, being a pain in the butt, <laughs> you can just be like, you know what? Landfill. Okay. So you know what, <clears throat> they say, the recipe says I only need 10. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 12. I, I see no problem with, with doing like one more pump than you need. Cause maybe I messed up my design a little bit and it actually could benefit from another pump. Wait, so how many was up there? I confused myself with the math. Like, with the counting. I don't know how many pumps I put up there. So, one, two, three, four, five. Really? Only five? And I didn't even connect that last one. Or did I? No, if I if I remember right, they don't connect sideways. You have to you have to pipe it up. 
Yeah, I think I think I did an experiment where I wanted to see if they connected size sideways, and they they don't. They pipe from the side. Like you can connect a pipe to the side, but they don't pipe to each other. Okay, so there's six here. So that's ten so far, and then I'm gonna add a couple more down here. connected looks like it you know what I'm gonna go with it. that's connected okay so that's 12 that's 12 pumps that's two more than we need we've got a hundred and twelve heat exchangers I think earlier I got them confused with the number for steam turbines We've got 193 steam turbines. This sound bitch is done. It just needs to be powered up. So how are we going to get power in here? Uh oh. <laughs> you know, if we have to, we can just knock out these heat pipes. Oh no, we can do it. Uh, okay, here it is. Here's our pathway. We've got it. Can I get in here? What is this? Is that okay? I just I wasn't close enough to see through there. Okay. That's our way in. So we can't get in from the side, but we, we're we not going to need to. I'm not going to do symmetrical power. Like, never mind on that. <laughs> we're just going to get in. And link this thing up. It's getting less pretty by the minute. Okay, maybe I will do symmetrical power. Semi-symmetrical. I'll go through and do these all symmetrical. Okay, now I just need... Okay, you know what? I'm going to do kind of symmetrical power. Why the fudge not? We came this far, man. We came this far. <laughs> cool. You know, we, we, we might as well make it look cool too, right? Now, I hope that I don't have to connect every single one of those damn things to the power grid. Oh, I think I do. Can I use substations? Can I use substations? That's right. If I remember right... I do. Shit. Shit. <laughs> this thing, this beast, it will not be satiated. 
Can we let's start one reactor? Let's start one reactor. <laughs> and see what happens. Shit. I think uh substations don't cover a lot. They really don't. Like more than than power lines, but I mean, for one, they're they're like big. Where can I fit them? Oh Christ! Okay, well at least they're gonna be on the outside. Do I have to? What else? Shit, I do have to link this up. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, let's try to do this on. Let's just. Let's small chunk it, you know? Let's, let's do one thing at a time and see how far we can get. Ooh, I can walk between those. How did this one do? Do let's do this one. Let's try that. Can I, okay, good. I can still move in there. Oh, damn it. That's not stupid asymmetrical layout. That one, that last one that we needed to finish it off. Can I still move in there? Yes. Okay, we're n we're not dead yet. We're doing okay. Can I fit? Oh, I can probably fit a substation in. Let's do eight more if we got this stuff for him. Oh, yes, yes. Perfect. I think we'll be able to do this with substations. Trapped that way, gotta go this way. Come on, let me. There we go. Oh, we're doing it. We are doing it. Wow, we got we got quite far. We got quite far doing that. This guy's going to be stubborn because this isn't supposed to exist. So that'll be a little bit of a... So that'll be a little bit of a um, annoyance just that it's not symmetrical. But, oh man, we got this, I think. Why aren't you- why is there so much on this? Did I not do this one? 
Why is there so much on that side that's not doing... Oh, because this isn't powered. <clears throat> Neither of these are. Those aren't connected yet. You know what? This is the single biggest... Aside from my sorter, my, my monster beast of a sorter, this is the biggest build project I've ever done in Factorio. Oh my god. Cool, so we just got those guys. We can in that we we've, we've got space in there. We can just get in there, yeah. Oh no, um maybe not. Shit. Hmm. I can't even reach them from here. And in those those tall power lines, they don't have a bigger footprint. They just they they reach they connect to each other farther. Oh man. Oh wait. I can get to them with a substation. I th no, maybe sh I can maybe only get to one of them. Let's wander out of here and see if we can get to the others with the substation. No, I couldn't. Well, maybe. I don't know. Let's look. <coughs> yes! We can do it! Holy Jesus. Amazing. Oh, please be symmetrical enough to work, too. Oh my gosh. Could we be done? Could we actually be done? No. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. That RoboPort has to be there like it just has to why did no no why did that one work because that one was totally on the other side of that one I did not measure the robo ports correctly I did not measure the distances correctly I went too high up on this side. I don't... Uh... Wait, what is this? Because it is different, it has a spot that the other side doesn't have. Right here. Is it doing? I can't tell. What's... Are we making steam? Is it working? What's going on? Is it not hot enough? Do we need more fuel? What's going on? Why is this not working? Temperature 70 degree. That's... It's not hot enough. Do we need more of them? Oh, it takes time to heat up. 
It seems that the temperature is going up. Slowly. Wow, this takes a, a while. Okay. Alright, give me just a second to like stretch and take a second and I will be back and uh and we'll turn this thing on. Holy crap. Look at that. We did that. Oh what why Why does it not seem? Okay, I can put one. Cry me. What will you do here? Substation. Where's substation? Do I have to build one? Where's my dang substation? I thought I had extras. I'm not seeing them. I'm too sleepy. I didn't have them. Okay. Okay. So, like... I guess that one's necessary. Is that one necessary? No. Okay, so so we got the we can do this other thing, I think. Okay. Okay, Christ. <sighs> We've done it. We have done it. Okay, um, I'll be right back, and I'll put the last fuel rods in. You know what? It takes a long time to heat up, I guess. Let's, let's, I'm going to get that started. I don't know, I kind of want you to be there when it comes to life. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so, uh, the, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so at 500 degrees, 500 degrees over here on the right, it it uh, starts to be hot enough t for the heat exchanger to work. When the heat exchangers work at between 500 and 1,000 degrees. And I went ahead and uh, requested fuel cells for the rest of these, so they're going to start. Oh, wait a minute. They get, they get that adjacency bonus. Okay, so they're they they're starting to heat up too. Cool. So it took a long time. Like I went and took a little break there. It took a long time for for this reactor to to heat up. Like once it once it passed like three hundred, it started accelerating. Okay, are we producing but what what's happening? They're not the steam turbines aren't producing power because we're on solar power. Like the nuclear reactors keep burning fuel no matter what. Like I'm actually let me save this as a different game in case this I can't afford this reactor. I'm pretty or this power plant. I'm pretty sure I won't have a uranium shortage. I th I think I'll be able to sustain this, but um But yeah, just in case. Okay, so I think I think the steam turbines even though the reactors will keep going, I I think the steam turbines don't produce power past what they need to make.
so at at night time when we had a power short like we the the sun just came up so at night time we actually needed power so it was making power but now oh man come on give us a show like it came to life there for a little bit Okay, so these are going to top off at a thousand, I believe. And hopefully our robot engineers are smart enough not to let it have a runaway reaction and melt down. Which I, I don't think that's programmed into the game, so I think we're safe. <laughs> Well, come on then. Yeah, this. <clears throat> I just had I just had this one reactor up for the longest time. It took forever to hit 500 degrees, and then once I requested fuel for these guys, that I guess it's the adjacency bonus that got them like up to speed real quick. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna they're gonna hold it 999. Wish I knew what time of day it was. Rocket silo stats. I've sent 11 satellites. Okay, well that's good to know. So I'm just going to wait till nighttime comes again, I guess. Let me let's just inspect to make sure everything's Yeah, so steam steam should be holding at 500 degrees. I've seen other um, other power plant builds where they they store the steam. Oh, these are working. Oh, it's starting to get night. Yeah, it's starting to transition. Okay, so the steam turbines only turn on at night. Cool. But I've seen others where they build tanks to store their steam. I don't know if that's really necessary, but if it is, I can just do that on my own later. Here we go, man. Here we go. We did it. We have got a fully operational eight reactor power plant. We've got power for years. So I guess the steam turbines just aren't gonna produce more than I need. I was hoping I could like, you know, see my, my output in the thousands. You know, get get like a uh, over a gigawatt. Well, cool. We did it. We have done it. This is the biggest uh, single thing I've built in, in Factorio. And I was very naive to think I could get it done in a couple hours. Like, this video is probably unwatchable for its length. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. I I don't know if I'm gonna do fast forward. If I'm just gonna do the full thing and like people can, like find the timestamps for the interesting stuff. I don't know. But I f I feel like a lot of things in Factorio get kind of fast forwarded. Like you don't you don't really get to um, find out the details of how stuff is done because it's just all you see is the screenshot of the finished thing. But yeah, that, this has been five hours for me. It's <laughs> it's been a ride. Ah, love that nuclear powered steam. It's better than coal steam. Okay, let's let me find a damn power pole. Oh no, it's stopping. Damn it. I don't know what we peaked at. I saw 800. The sun's coming up. That means our solar power is kicking in. So, it doesn't matter if if the steam turbines are going to not see the like this is this is the uranium decaying and it's like um that's going to be like a a power bill for the rest of the time I play this game. These are just going to keep decaying and 
getting more. So before I leave, let's just go check on our uranium process. Wow, one, one last look at the whole thing. Wow. That is an eight reactor nuclear power plant. Amazing. It it's its maximum potential is I believe at or a little bit over eleven hundred megawatts. And like all for to give you perspective on that, all I'm consuming total right now is six hundred six hundred and seventy something. Like hovering at seven hundred megawatts. So like that's I might not need to make more power for the rest of the time I pl like care to play this game. Holy shit. That's awesome. Thank you for being here. <laughs> okay, let me... I should have brought a car. Can I build a car? I think you can only build them in... Yeah, they're made in factories. Maybe it's just because I don't have engine units. I don't know. I thought I read somewhere that you these days you can only build them in factories. I think I built my first one without a factory, but I don't know if an update changed that. Man, look at that massive coal deposit. How big is that? 12 million. 12 million. Hi, tree. Bye, tree. Oh, what's this? What's this? Try not to... Oh, fuck it. Good job, robots. Thank you. Karma, that was instant karma on me. Somehow I feel like destroying trees is not good for karma. I mean, they don't really have much use in this game. I can't, like, zoom in and enjoy the beauty of their pixels. Actually, maybe I can. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a terrible, terrible person who wastes beautiful things. Um, you know what? Every time I come to a wall and I just want to pass through it, I make a new door. So that next time I won't have to. <laughs> I find it's a good practice because a lot of times I'll just conveniently find doors there because I do that. Oh, this deposit looks like it's drying up. Okay, my uranium is down here. No trains coming, it's safe. How's our enrichment coming? Good, our uranium-235 is, is building again. We're, we're actually, with this setup, I'm, I'm constantly out of uranium-238, which is like the poorer metal, but it's, uh... Like, I use it so much for the enrichment process. Okay, did you rebuild these? Yeah, it rebuilt the eight reactors that we used, and I'll probably never use another one. But I just like that I have this reserve. So how the, how are these holding? Oh. I hope this holds out. Like, I think it will. I think we just used a bunch at once. I think we used eight at once. Eight tiles of this for the eight reactors so one two three four five six yeah I think we cleared it out to here and now we're back up to here so we have a positive uh, movement on this I think this is going to be sustainable as long as I can keep finding new uranium so like we've got that one for quite a while we got that one for a bit more And my next project will be to make an outpost to mine that thing. Um, I'm not going to logistics mine it because this whole thing is its own lo separate logistics network. And I can't mess with that. So this has to be its own separate logistics network as well. So that'll be an interesting thing to set up. And then, um, wow, look at that. So I've already got a big ass base, but look at that big ass little chunk on the map. That that thing right there. <clears throat> wow, we did that together. Good job, us. And once 
once we have the power, like once, like we've got the power, but once we have reserve uranium here, then we're gonna keep pushing as far as we can push and see what's down there. Bigger and bigger clusters of aliens, bigger piles of resources in the millions. 40 million copper, that's cool. Yeah, once we have that, I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, doing my frontier expedition episodes, and that'll be really awesome. Whoa, we did that. All right, thank you for being here. And holy crap, you probably skipped to this point. I like actually, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't have skipped to this point, considering how long this would be. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this, crunch it down, leave the full thing just for fun, but to be obnoxious, I don't know. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll be doing more Factorio together, so come back and play with me. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye. Somebody should done. It just needs to be powered up.